Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the West Coast. I'm out with the boys today. I'm out with Dax. What's going on? Reese. What's up? And the grouper MVP, my boy Max. What's going on? Max Berman. He, this is his boat, you're gonna put me on what should be my first keeper gag grouper today. I would say so. You think, you think we're gonna get one? I think so. All right. West we Coast, will. cold temps mean gag grouper, right? They love the below 70 degree water temp that just fires them right up. Yeah, and you caught, what, like 15 legal fish yesterday? 15 keepers yesterday and a bunch of shorts, so. And we did, didn't even get out there till one, so today we're out here early. Gonna get an early start. Perfect, I'm stoked, let's get after it. a live bait for these groupers so i just have a really little bottom rig with like a number six or number eight hook tiny piece of squid and like i don't know and like one ounce egg weight all the rest of the guys are using sabikis i'm just casting this out on bottom and catching some baits no no one can catch one while oh reese is on reese has got the bait what is that baby Not very, yeah so they're a type of porgy. These guys keep calling them white chocolate, which I don't know why, but I find it hilarious. <laughs> but let's see if I can get one real quick. That's not the scientific name. It's like grass porgy or something like that. Yeah. White chocolate is ten times better than grass porgy. <laughs> oh, 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 buddy. What's that a doom? Oh, white chocolate. Someone comment down below what these things are actually called, but for for now and forever for me, they will be white chocolates. Got this guy, cool little bait, a little squirrel fish, super colorful. He's going in the well. Today we are going to do two different types of fishing for grouper. We're going to do some bottom fishing, which is exactly what the boys are doing right now. Reese is just hooked up on a massive one, and we're going to do some trolling. We're going to pull these big old lures behind the boat. And the goal is to catch the same type of fish, to catch some big gag grouper. You can catch them in multiple different ways. So let's give it a shot. Let me see that sauce. Ooh. Right through this rock. Oh my god, dude. You got work? You got it was like work. in the rock and maybe. We spent all that time catching live bait this morning, and now the boys are telling me that we're catching, we're gonna use dead bait, and I think they're messing with me. No, we're being serious. <laughs> Why? Why do you think? We get them fired up. You yeah. Throw some dead sardines down there, mm -hmm. cut the tail off, send them down. They get that scent smelling, they're stinky. Get mm -hmm. the grunts all. I guess it probably does make the whole bottom alive oh, yeah. once you put a dead bait down. Once they're picking at them, yeah. then they start throwing stuff up, and then it's just Everyone the whole ecosystem. Do you use the snips to snip the end off? Or is I, that... I did because they're frozen, but you just pinch them off. Take that. Got some 80 pound leader, 80 pound main line, and then an 8 ounce. Kind of feels like I'm snook fishing at the pier back in the day. Just let it down kind of slowly so it doesn't uh, doesn't get too twisted. That's a bite. Not massive though. We got a little baby red. Hey bud, what's up? Happy to see you. Uh, hook popped out just like that. Little baby fire truck. Adios, amigo. All right, I'm scared, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Oh, he's getting eight on the way down. I swear. Come on, come on up. 
Take me down to the Tampa Bay City. Mm. Whoa, that's what we call a gag grouper. That's not a bad fish at all. This is fun, man. This is fun. Max, are you hooked up back there, dude? Yeah, this is actually a good one. Dude, look at this guy. How big was that one? I don't know. I haven't measured him yet. Show him to this camera. That looks 24-ish. I think, I think literally this is my biggest gag, which is not that impressive, but... This guy is... This guy is 26. Just got the thump of doom. Didn't hold on. Didn't hold on. My rubber hook came out. Dude! Yes. Quick shout out to the fam over at Navalis Apparel. Definitely becoming my favorite shirts to wear. They support the channel. Huge supporters of the channel, actually. So give them a shout. Give them a like. Check them out on Instagram. Check the links in the description of the video. Just a great brand all around that I've been really enjoying wearing. All right, so the boys are all getting hit with the old butt hook method. So I'll try the butt hook method. You supposed to see that method. Brah. Yeah. No one told me. Everyone, everyone is hooking up, and I'm doing this silly nose hook. And I'm like, hmm, what am I doing different? And then I look, and they're all doing this, right through the butt. That's the secret technique. Secret sauce. Secret sauce. Let's see what the secret sauce. Does that was good. Son. Feels like a trash bag. Butt hook got eaten on the last drop, so felt it playing with it and I real tight. Even that one, I mean, it's probably like 23 inches. Dude, that's a stud red grouper. I don't know what a keeper. <laughs> if, if they were in season, that thing would be a keeper for sure. I've never caught one that big. Magnum 40s. I'm gonna pull these behind the boat over some of these shallow water areas where there's gonna be gag grouper and other stuff hanging out. See if we can plug a couple off. Spoiler alert, <laughs> they're working pretty well. <laughs> Dex is hooked up on the troll. Good bite? Good bite. It's bending the rock pretty good. Hell Real yeah. Real really fast. Reese is cranking. See if we can get a double. Sometimes they'll chase up this guy and then they'll be following they'll be following his plug uh -huh. and they'll eat Reese's. So. They're just working it really fast. I bet you you get tiny ones that eat these giant plugs too, right? For sure. You will. You get under the These are 40. 40, 40 feet? Oh, yeah. Well, probably short. Yeah, grouper. Hey man, it's a fish. All lit up on that giant plug. You. Hooks out. There we go. Back in the water. She's gone. Dude, catch me a bigger one. I'll try. Dude. I think you might have hit it and you got it again. I think uh, we didn't let it off. Smoked it, huh? 
So you think it hit it and then came back and got it a second time? Yeah, I saw it hit and I picked it up and it felt like it came off, but then it came right back. Pink two in a row. Yep. Reese, what are you doing over there? Yeah. I would go spinning around. Hey, that's a decent guy. 27. 27 enter. How long should I make the leader? Definitely dangerous trying to unhook these things. They freak out a lot of the time and uh, you gotta have a good de-hooker tool. Cause I don't want one of these massive treble hooks in my hand attached to a gag grouper. Dude. Now that's a keeper gag. That's a stud. Look at that one. Probably what, like 27 inches? Yeah, probably about right around there. Right? 24 to keep. Yep. Right. The bright pink plug. Smoke, uh, you would never think that things yeah. actually eat those. I, know. Like, I look at that in a tackle shop, I'm like, nah, there's no way a fish eats that. It works though. Look at that thing. Boom. That looks like a delicious grouper sandwich to me. It's a couple sandwiches right there. <laughs> If you guys like videos like this, be sure to subscribe to my boy Max, the Group MVP. What's going MVP. on guys? My channel is Group MVP, and the reason that is because this is the fish I specialize in. I do videos offshore for grouper and in the bay, so I'll give out helpful tips, show you the rigs I use, what bait I use, and stuff like that, so make sure to subscribe. It's linked down in the description below. It's a big girl. Yeah? Yeah. It's a big girl. Big nasty? Oh god, it's a big girl. Oh god, it's a big girl. Whoa! Jumping gags. Look at that. Tag, someone's tagging for research. It looks like the tag's cut. Oh, yeah. And they snipped his tail. Gotcha, it's in the sun. How's the weather out here? It's nice. It's nice? You sound tired, are you alright, man? You sure? I'm worn out already. Oh no. I really did that. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. Double. 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 Oh! Got hit again! Oh, <laughs> oh he's on! Oh man! Oh man! A little rinky dink one. Come on in, buddy. The 25 ended up being 30 inches, so. That's 26. Yeah. 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 Nah, he was hooked in the top of the bed. Is that like rules you have to let go of the tag fish? No, but... But it's just good courtesy. It's, yeah. it's just cool to see the tagging information. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Lucky gag. Yeah, he's a lucky SOB. Pretty good, man. This never gets not long. Reese is about to drop the bait of baits for the day. It's a, it was like a two pound grunt that he just butterflied. Massive. Dude, you're gonna catch a donkey on that. Big bait, big fish. I hope so. I hope you don't get pulled in. I know. <laughs> That's a bite and a half. Woo, buddy. That's a good one. Hold his head towards me. Yeah. Thanks, dude. Thing's chunky. Show you guys. <laughs> Spent so much, so much time getting this on there. <laughs> Show you guys combo that I was using pretty much for most of the day. This is a Star Rod Star Deluxe eight foot, rated for forty to sixty pound line. This is actually a rod that I used to use for pure snook fishing back in the day. Pretty stout, pretty stiff fiberglass rod. You know, pretty um, economical. It's not super expensive. Using throughout the day, and that was working fairly well for the bottom fish. I also have one of the spinning rods, which we were trolling with right here. Show you that and show you kind of the plug. Well, that's huh. This is the spinning rod probably caught the most uh, grouper on the troll today. Dax was a high hook on the troll for sure. So we got a Rapala Magnum 40. These things dive 40 feet deep. So almost to the bottom, we're trolling around, you know, around that depth, a lot of the area. Fishing a Saragossa 8000, like some 40 pound braid. This is a St. Croix, what is this rated for? Avid inshore, rated for 
17 to 40 pound line. So a little bit of a softer tip, but this was catching the crap out of some groupers today. So if you like me going over my combos and everything, be sure to like the video. It does help the channel out significantly. And if you like catching big groupers and me doing a little bit of a different things, subscribe to my boy Max over here. His channel is Grouper MVP. It's linked in the description. He does stuff like this all the time. He catches a lot more fish than I do. So let's get him some subscribers. <laughs> Reese doesn't want us to catch any, that's why he's sitting on the live well. He's like, only for me. Yeah. Yes, mate. <laughs> I don't think getting bites like this ever gets old when it's just boom. Yeah. <laughs> Maximilian. Woo! Dude. I just got manhandled by this fish. I think Ryan's gonna have to oh jump Oh my in the water. god, he's still fighting. I'm gonna loosen up a little bit because he's off the bottom. He's gonna have to jump in the water. I did say I would jump in the water if I caught a 30 inch. <laughs> <You> oh! <did. laughs> this thing manhandled me, bro. That's gotta be 29, right? 29 for sure, right? <laughs> That's a 30. That's my one biggest 30. gag. That's a 30. That's my biggest gag for sure. 32. Oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been more mortified to get the fish I wanted. Do we have to force it? That's a nice one. That is sick, man. That thing was aggressive. Well, you know what? And my man Dax baited my hook again. <laughs> He's like, don't worry, dude. I got you. God, look at that thing. That's sick. These things fight extra hard, eat super aggressive. My biggest fish, my biggest gag ever for sure. Look at those. Oh, they're so strong. Look at those teeth. Just aggressively sharp teeth, man. That is ridiculous. 31 almost. Here's your iron fish. It's a slot. It's, a... <laughs> it's about 30 inches. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Too bad, you're going in the cooler, bud. <laughs> well, we were talking smack today. We were saying, you're not really the grouper MVP. I was not like, the grouper MVP today. Like your YouTube name says. That's a stud, yeah. dude. Probably 27, 28 End inch. of the day studs. Crush it. Oh, oh my God, dude. This is a big one. Was that on the big bait? This, no, I cut the filet off. Reese got a giant. Dude, Reese. Reese You're getting pulled in, dude. Come on. Reese is on a beast. Oh, come on. Woo! There Rub it is. I'm fired up. Oh! Oh my god! Look at that thing, dude! Oh, man. <laughs> Another stud. Careful, barely hooked. Oh my gosh! Now oh, that. Let's go, man. <laughs> yeah! Dude, right after I just caught mine, Max caught his. Dude! Let's go! <laughs> Funny story time. So all day we've been trying to just keep big fish. Lots of legal fish we've been releasing all day long. And we thought we were at eight fish for a little bit now. And we go to count, guess how many fish we got? We got seven. And the bite's over. <laughs> seems like, seems like the fish are not chewing. Um, the reason that eight's a significant number, if I didn't say it already, is because that's a limit. That, you know, and we wanted to get a limit of fish, and not just a limit of barely legal fish. We wanted to get some bigger ones. Let a lot of the, you know, 24, 25, 26 inches go. Um, and we did that. We definitely got some little ones go. But now we got seven. Don't have a limit, but got a lot some quality fish in the wool, in the boat. So a little bit of an ego hit not to come in with a limit, but a fun day nonetheless. That was a cold ride in. 50 to 60 degrees when you're going 40, 40 miles an hour for like an hour. Yeah. Not that much fun. Very cool. Would not recommend. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, huge thank to Max. Thanks to the boys for a great trip. Heck of a time in Tampa. Again, subscribe to Groove for MVP. Check the boys out. I'll see you guys in that next video.